My name is Michelle Reed if you guys are new to my channel today's video is very different for two reasons one I'm filming my first ever like sit down video in my room, which is so weird I've never had my own room in New York City So it's super strange, but it's also really cool because this is a video I have wanted to do for such a long time I just haven't really thought about how to do it and I'm gonna do it today because I think it's so different and something that's very like personal to me, but it's gonna be 20 things that I do every single day that kind of put me on the right path, that helped my mindset. I'm very much a proponent that big changes happen through like small daily things. And I'm also someone who is really into my routine. I'm definitely a creature of habit a little bit to a fault to where I feel like I don't necessarily always do things that are spontaneous or different. But I also think that especially whenever you like start your job, you're working, I think the small things that you do every single day are what truly shape your character. And so I wanted to do this. They're really simple things, but they're things that I've been doing literally every single day. And in this list, there aren't things like work out because I don't work out every day. And I didn't want to put in things that I don't actually do every day, but I think it's really cool. So leave down below one thing that you do every single day that really sets you on the right path because I think it's interesting to see other people's routines and I think it'd be really cool. I also want to thank Experian for sponsoring this video. You will see how I work them in later on but I think it's gonna be a great resource for those who are just starting you know your career people who are kind of entering this phase of adulthood I think that credit is really important so it's gonna be something I'm gonna be talking about later but I wanted to say a big thank you to them so the first thing whenever I wake up I wake up at 7 a.m. every single morning never earlier never later it's always 7 a.m. but the first thing that I always do is open up my curtains open up the curtains in my bedroom and also in the living room if they're not already open I think that letting in natural light is so important and just right when I do that in the morning, I feel like I'm immediately woken up. Second thing is making my bed. I always make my bed every single morning. I think coming home to a bed that is already made is such like a simple thing, but it makes such a big difference. It teaches your body that like this is the morning. I'm just getting started. Third thing is make a cup of coffee. I usually have two cups of coffee every day, but I'll have one in the morning right when I wake up. And then I'll also have another one at work if I feel like I need it, but I try not to do it every single day depending on how lazy i am sometimes i'll use the french press sometimes i'll just use like a curing number four is to actually get ready i know there are a lot of people who don't actually like put on a nice outfit or do their makeup or do their hair every day and that's totally okay but for me i'm just so much of a person that whenever i actually get ready in the morning i feel like i can actually be my best throughout the day I eat breakfast every single day because i think that it is super important i know a lot of people skip breakfast i don't understand how but if that's you like you do you and while i'm eating breakfast i always read my devotional and right now I am reading new morning mercies because I love that devotional I then just like to tidy up as you guys know I just moved into a new apartment which is something that's so exciting for me and so I really like just making sure the place like looks nice in the morning and I feel like a lot of you guys actually found my channel through my apartment video and so this is why I wanted to mention Experian because I think it's something that this year I'm trying to take more seriously is my credit score and I definitely could not have lived in in this apartment and rented if I didn't you know develop better credit and so I wanted to mention experience they have a service now which is called Experian boost and it's basically a helpful tool to help boost your credit score and the best part is you actually don't have to have a credit card to boost your credit score it basically uses things like your utility bill your cell phone bill your water bill things that you already have to pay to help boost your credit score which is super helpful you used to not be able to get credit for things like paying your utility bill paying your cell phone bill but now you can and it's totally free it's a free service in the past it would take months and months and months to develop a good credit score but with Experian Boost you can actually do it instantly and they actually have stats that people who use Experian Boost typically average at least 10 points higher on their credit score which is really really awesome if you guys want to check it out I will have it linked down below if you want to use Experian Boost a lot of people are already using it and helps you increase your access to credit and help establish credit it's totally safe it's totally secure Secure, and it's 100% free and you don't need a credit card, which is great. You can boost your FICO score instantly for free. You can check out Experian Boost by using the 
linkexperian.com slash Michelle. I commute to work every single morning and something that's really important for me is to not listen to a podcast in the morning. And if you guys know me, I love podcasts, but I think that early morning period when you're so fresh, sometimes I don't want to listen to like what's going on in the world or you know what's going on in like my industry. I think it's just really important to take that morning for you and just enjoy it in the way that you want to without necessarily clouding your mind with thought. Also every single morning my boyfriend Aiden texts me and he says good morning and it puts me in the best mood and so it just kind of lets me know that we're both commuting at the same time. Every single day at work I eat a packed lunch too. There are some days I'll eat out but that's very rare. I usually bring my lunch because I'm a proponent of grocery shopping and it just really makes me feel good knowing I have a healthy lunch just waiting in the fridge. And then sometimes if I'm feeling a little sleepy I will have a second coffee I work actually has an espresso machine and so I usually like to make a nice soy milk latte and it really puts me in a good mood obviously after work I have to commute home and that's usually whenever I'll listen to a podcast if I'm into it my favorite podcast I love gals on the go I love Natalie Barbu's the real real podcast usually when I get home I'll see Rose because Rose is here and I will chat with her for a little bit it's just nice living with roommates because I feel like you always come home to someone you're not just coming home to like an empty apartment Apartment. that's kind of sad it's like someone that you like someone that's separate from work and it's just a good feeling and then right when I get home I usually change out of clothes like this because these are not super comfortable and I'll put on comfy clothes and I'll usually kind of tidy up make sure everything looks good and then I usually catch up on YouTube work so I will edit videos if I have to respond to emails send things for approval read contracts whatever it be this kind of varies every night but it's usually some sort of YouTube like logistical thing and then after that I will make dinner which also varies what I make but it's usually like chicken sausage vegetables potatoes sometimes chicken if I have it usually some protein vegetable and then also some starch so that's usually what my dinner is and then most nights I will try to go outside for a little bit so I usually like go for a walk even if it's just like around the block usually it's with my boyfriend Aiden if he happens to come up to me but sometimes it's just by myself if I had just seen him and then I usually shower I like to shower at nights I find that showering really just calms me down and so I know a lot of people shower in the mornings, but I just prefer to definitely shower at night and Then I usually like to go through my work bag and kind of clean anything out and then set it out for the next day Making sure I'm prepared charge my laptop if I need to and then before I get in bed I usually light a candle because I like to kind of chill in bed for a little bit before I go to sleep So if I have time, I'll just light a candle to kind of enjoy the night And then the last thing that I do which I feel like a lot of people discourage But it's something that I love is I watch Friday night lights in my bed. I will watch watch an episode every single night. It reminds me of Texas and I feel like that's something I don't talk about a lot in my videos but I miss home all the time and never really get used to living here. I love New York and I feel like a lot of people watch my videos for the New York stuff but Texas is my home. It's always going to be my favorite place and so watching Friday Night Lights which is on Amazon if you guys want to check it out. It just totally reminds me of home. It puts me in a good mood so I know a lot of people say it's bad to watch TV before you go to sleep, but I do it every night and it makes me happy. So, and then I'll go to sleep. And those are all the little things that I do every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit different and I know I do a lot of vlogs, but I thought it'd be interesting just showing you guys actually in detail everything I do. I feel like in my week in my life videos, you don't actually get to see those things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Again, don't forget to let me know down below one little thing you do every single day. I would definitely love to hear. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like to and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.